Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are new to my channel, guess what? I wholeheartedly welcome you. Do me a favor, please. Review the full video. Leave me a comment. Thumbs me up. Share me out because sharing is caring. But don't you dare forget to go down below and subscribe to this channel and that notification bell so that you can be notified of my fabulous videos. Yes. Well, this is by popular demand, guys. You asked and I followed through for another Fiesta Friday. Yes, it's been a while. But again, your girl listened. So today I'm going to fix for you this delicious, quick, vegan chicken chimichanga. So let's get ready. Hang in there, guys. This delicious, quick, vegan chicken chimichanga. Quick vegan chicken chimichanga so let's get ready hang in there guys okay guys for this quick vegan chicken chimichanga i'm using my regular morning star veggie meal starters it's the chicken strip all vegan and then i have my onion onion onions and my red bell pepper you know i love some color and i love some onion onion onions so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the pan here and start sauteing them and then with the chicken strips I'm gonna put I'm not gonna make very many of them because there's only two of us today so I'm not gonna use a full bag I'm just gonna come oh, what the heck I can always save it so I'm gonna use some of the chicken strips here so they can start um, marinating and sauteing in the skillet now you're gonna do this for about ten mi seven minutes on each side yeah, I don't know what I'm saying side gonna just do seven minutes to saute them. So I'm just going to dump this whole bag in here because it's giving me some love and problems with mixing up in here. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started here. So you're going to let this saute for about seven minutes just to get it tenderized because you want to make this chim the um, chimichanga and you wrap it, you're going to put it in a, in a pot with some oil in it and you need it to cook um, quick because it's only like two to three minutes on each side. So you don't want to have bite into this and it's not done. <laughs> so we want to get this tenderized. So this is going to be about seven to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add some seasonings to it before I get to that seven to 10 minutes, which is my seasoning, my special seasoning with my onion powder, garlic powder, fresh um, garlic. I also have um, cilantro, my special season blend that I cannot tell you about right now. I cannot wait until it hits the market so I can just let it all out. But yeah, and it's got salt, pepper, a host of other flavors. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit, um, saute for about, like I said, seven to 10 minutes. And then I'll be ready to put this in the wrap and then we can get this thing started. So guys, um, the recipe is gonna still be the same whether you use regular chicken, shrimp, or steak. Now, here's the thing, just make sure you check the temperature and know when your, your items are done, um, as far as the, the um, shrimp, the steak, or chicken. So this one here has been sauteing for about seven minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings in there. Yes, the seasoning in there, mix it up. And then on top of that, once I get this all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, I didn't mention this earlier, but I had to get somebody to go down to the cellar and get some more of my um, salsa. So I'm going to put salsa in here and let it simmer. This whole thing is going to simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'll get ready to wrap it and put it into the frying pan. But not so much a frying pan, a soft pan. So... I'll be back at you, so I'm gonna mix all this up thoroughly and let it um, simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. So guys, this has been simmering for about 30 minutes, and a lot of people don't like chunkiness in their, in their chimichangas. I don't have a preference. I usually cut things up because I'm so freaky like that <laughs> with a knife when I'm, when I'm eating or I cut it really fine. So it doesn't bother me, but a lot of people cut their chicken strips and things up. So again, just make sure you keep um, pay attention to your settings and make sure that it's um, cooked thoroughly because I don't want anybody to get sick from eating raw chicken or raw meat. 
or even raw seafood, but you can cut it up um, after it's done because it makes it easier to chop it. So I, again, I don't have a preference for that. Um, but I'm gonna let it, I turned it off and I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes. And then at that point, I'll be ready to wrap it and put it in the saucepan with some oil. Let it cook, the oil needs to be heated to 350 degrees. You're gonna cook it on each side for two to three minutes till it gets a little brown. Everybody's stove and oven has a different setting. If you have an air fryer, this is even quicker and it's the fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest for a few minutes and I'll go back to the station and wrap them up for you. Get it ready. Okay, so now it's time for me to go ahead and start getting this thing wrapped up. And all you do is you take a little spoon of refried beans and spread it on the end. Cause you know, you gotta wrap this, right? And there's a trick to it. Okay, more protein in the beans. More protein in the beans. Okay, then I'm going to put a spoon of the delicious vegan chicken and bell pepper and onion, 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 onions. So I'll just put a spoon of it on here. So I put, uh, I think I'll put a couple of spoons. I don't wanna get it too fat because you know, you gotta roll it up and that's the problem with uh, rolling these tortillas. Some people can roll them up really, really good. I'm not that type of girl. But anyway, then you're gonna put your cheese on there. Then I'm gonna put a cream sauce on the end. So what I'm gonna do is use my nutritional yeast and um, make a cream sauce and with some coconut milk. Yes, 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 yes. But anyway, I'll show you that on another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and get it ready for the fryer. Okay, so you gotta put something on here to make it um, adhere, to make it stick. So what I did was took one teaspoon of flour and three teaspoons of water and I made a paste but a liquidy paste, and I'm gonna rub it across. I'm gonna spread it at the end of the of the uh, shell here, and what it does, it, it helps to seal it and keep it from unraveling once it hits the frying pan, because you're gonna put this open end first, and I won't call it open end, but on the, yeah, it is the open end. So you put that face down. These are ready to go in the fryer again. You're gonna fry it put it in the oil that is 350 degrees, and then you're going to do this uh, open end side down. It is not open, it's tapered, but you put that in facing down, and then you're gonna keep it on each side for like two minutes, two and a half minutes, just watch it till it gets a little brown, and then you're ready to take it out. You're gonna flip it once. Just wanted to let you know how that paste sealed the deal. See how it's all closed up? All right, going to the frying. And so we have it guys. This is the cheesy, quick, vegan chicken chimichanga. And this is another Fiesta Friday in the book. Vegan style, baby. So don't forget, review the full video. Leave me a comment, thumbs me up, but share me out, cause sharing is caring. But don't you dare forget to go down below, subscribe to that channel and that notification bell. Click it guys, so that you can be notified of my fabulous videos. Mm -mm. This chimichanga is calling me. I'll holla at you later. Have a great weekend. Love you long time. Happy Fiesta Friday.